Hi, I'm Jessica Ramirez for the Finance News Network at the 2017 Self-Managed Superfund Summit and joining me from Latrobe Financial is CIO Chris Andrews. Welcome Chris. Hi Jessica, great to be here. Thanks for coming. So can you tell us Chris, what are your key takeaways for Self-Managed Superfund trustees? Well in the low interest rate world we're in today, investors, particularly self-managed super fund investors, those at or near retirement, they're facing some real challenges. With interest rates so low, frankly their portfolio performance is really getting stressed. Now the risk obviously is that those investors take significant steps up the risk curve to try and compensate for that and that of course exposes them to things like sequencing risk which can be really harmful for their portfolio's performance. So Chris, what is sequencing risk? Thanks Jessica. Look, sequencing risk is the risk that investors experience negative returns just as they enter that drawdown phase, the retirement phase if you like, of their investment life cycle. Now, of course the problem with that is if you're experiencing negative returns as you're drawing down from your investment portfolio or from your self-managed super fund, you're crystallising losses. That's money that can never be recovered, whatever markets do down the track. So it means sort of the long-term performance of the asset class becomes less relevant and what becomes really important is your year-to-year -year returns. Good point. So what about, we've heard the term bantied around today and previously, peer-to-peer -peer investments. So what are peer-to-peer -peer investments? Peer-to-peer -peer investment, it's the flavour of the month, everyone's talking about it, which is a little bit surprising to us. I've got to say, we've been doing it for 25 years. Being, th that being as it is, peer-to-peer -peer investment is an investment model where investors get to choose individual loans and invest in them. So classically, of course, an investor investing in loans, um, mortgages or unsecured loans, would invest in a portfolio of those loans put together by a manager. In the peer-to-peer -peer model, the investor gets to choose loan by loan, the investors that suit their own risk, return, duration needs. And of course, what that means is for investors, it's putting them very much in the driver's seat. Touching on something a little bit different now, what about investing in credit or debt? Yes. What are the yes. advantages and disadvantages yeah, of investing okay. in that? So credit investment is a really powerful tool to control the sequencing risk, volatility in portfolios that we were talking about earlier. Because of course, when executed properly, uh, credit investment delivers capital stable, reliable income returns. Now that's what, what Latrobe Financial as a, as a credit manager is always trying to do for investors of, of course. The risks in the sector are the same as with any asset manager and investors really need to be aware of three key points. Firstly, who is your manager? What is their track record? What is their expertise? So that's the first thing. The second thing they need to be aware of, what is it that they're investing in? Do they actually understand the assets? Do they understand the manager's approach to the assets? Do they understand the manager's resources to bring to bear to manage and control those assets? And then finally, investment structures. We are forever saying for investors, be aware, be alert. If investment structures seem complex, if they're opaque, if you don't understand what's actually happening, the decisions that the manager is making, then you shouldn't invest. It's, it brings us back to that famous Warren Buffett saying, which we, we repeat endlessly, investment is not like Olympic diving. You don't get bonus points for degree of difficulty. <laughs> It's been a real pleasure. Thank you so much, Chris Andrews, CIO of Latrobe Financial. Thanks, Jessica. It's been great.